the true locals have unlocked the secret to life out here. And they're encouraging the town's young to step up. I believe in that glass half full sort of concept. And I think that we all need to challenge ourselves, including myself. How can we do better each day? This is Prickle Patch Farm. Then we will practice. Yeah, practice. Today we're having tutoring first with two kids. And then um, some kids are here now uh, doing farm jobs. And then we'll do some horse riding as attached to the farm skills that they're learning. It's a confidence builder, really. It's not, let's make them equestrians. It's just be with a big animal, sit on the big animal, learn a bit about it, and that builds their confidence. Yeah. Keep it going like that, that's beautiful. Have you got any favorite animals out here? Um, the horses, the goats, and the pigs. I like the pigs. I learn a lot of things. Um, I learn how to control myself, and it's really fun. What do you mean you learn how to control yourself? Like, um, if I get like angry and everything, I learn how to control my anger. And Sir teaches us um, life skills. And, like resilience, um, determination, uh, responsibility. And, yeah. That's it, like that, good. Renee Senior started the farm in the 1970s. There's almost no one in town he hasn't taught. He's now retired, but still runs workshops for the kids. For some of them, this farm makes all the difference. Leonora can be a tough place to grow up in. We have a lot of gaps in services. Um, there are, uh, you know, a lack of funding that uh, comes, comes into Leonora. You've also got the intergenerational trauma of grandparents and, you know, stolen gen and, you know, you've got the trials and tribulations that basically it's handed down, all right? So that's where people get involved in masking behaviour, you know, alcoholism and drug addiction and gambling and, you know, all these different things. It's just people trying to, you know, take away the pain a bit and kids feel everything. They're on the hard end of everything. Now, we've got to jog all the way. Renee Senior works closely with his son to mentor Leonora's kids. These two. They both know the problems affecting young people better than most. Start jogging. Me? Slowly, yeah. Go on, Maddox. Stay with that kid. 20 years ago, when living in Perth, Renee Junior was the victim of a vicious attack. Uh, in 2002, in 9th of December, at 5.45, <laughs> I got uh, stabbed in the head. But it was a time when I should, should have been dead and I got a knife put into my skull, basically. So the chances of me living would be pretty uh, slim. Um, so from that point, um, I went through post-traumatic stress. And... Yeah, I spiralled into some dark places. And at one time when I was without voice and, you know, in one of, one of my darkest times, all my darkest times, I ended up making a choice to live. In those darkest times, Renee had twice attempted suicide. He gradually pieced his life together. But in 2015, a series of youth deaths in the Leonora region hit hard. 
Rene knew he had to come home. We had uh, quite a few suicides with young people in the goldfields, so uh, we became a hotspot, uh, you know, within the world scene, especially Australia, and it's certainly not a option that sits well with me when a young person uh, chooses that. There has to be a, a, a huge sense of hopelessness in someone's life, uh, you know, an overwhelming sense of darkness. And I started to discover my purpose. You know, what is my life from here, now that I've got a second chance, basically? Two, one, go! Renee moved back and started running youth programs, aimed at shaping a brighter future. I believe in that glass half full sort of concept and um, I know that we can always do better, you know, and I think that we all need to challenge ourselves, including myself. How can we do better each day? But the winner today is Mackay's team with 2,850. Big round of applause. He's been drawn into the social dilemma that we have here, that most remote communities do face and sees how he can contribute strongly to doing something about it. Not solving the, the, these problems that we're talking about are not like quick fix it solutions, uh, but we feel we're contributing and we feel valuable in that role. And that's a good feeling. And wherever you get it, and this is his country anyway, you might as well stay and do it because that's life, that's good life for us.